Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Factorio on the Alpha client. Um, so auto deconstruct is now installed. Here's some things we never want to see ever again. Let's uh, make sure that that is set up properly. So I don't ever want iron. Well, yeah, I pretty much never want iron ore or that in my inventory. Um, we probably don't ever really want batteries. We'll pause it if we need to, like, do something specific with those, but... Let's build, if we can, a locomotive or two. Grab some steel plate, just directly. Let's get some cargo wagons built. So yeah, auto deconstruct is installed. Our robots are very slow still. Our upper expansion base is being attacked. So let's go up there and see how much iron ore it's already collected. And then uh, keep on working on researching robot speed and stuff. I do have some of these advanced circuits on me. But I never did finish researching the next level of power armor. So that's something else that we need to work on. I think we should probably take a gun or two. Should update the more light mod to include... Remind me! Update more light to include the, the thing that makes it work in the car. Okay, so they actually did some, some, some damage up here. Destroyed some walls. Looks like the turrets may not have been in the best positioning. Look like cockroaches. Give them more ammo than that. Spread these out a little bit more. And again, we're kind of doing this the, the dumb way. By using a car, but... That's quite a bit of iron ore. If I make the trip often enough, we'll plow a path through these trees. <laughs> oh. All right, we want to we want to get our inventory a little bit more clear, because uh, oh, well, you know what? I should actually make those into requester chests. That way, if there's any iron ore in the system, it'll automatically get brought over to these chests. That would be a good idea. Requester chest, requester chest. That's active provider. No, 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 no. Requester. Go away, robots. Go away. Logistics. Uh, you will request iron ore. To the tune of, like, all of it. For now. They, let's say, like, 500. You can have half of that. You can have half of that. And I think we can long reach that car from here. Gotta get this damn train station working. What train station, you say? Yes, it's ex exact, exactly. We need to make a train station. Hmm. Well, now I just have too much. Mine, like, not in the network right now. I'm actually not. Okay, so power is still an issue. We should upgrade power so that we stop having issues with that. Mm, during the day, though, we're probably doing fine. What are you lacking? Small electric poles? Okay, um... Let's just set up a small little spot that requests the crap that they need so that if, if any blueprints use that, they're made automatically, because we've got plenty of wood in the system. Let's 
pause auto trash. Grab a little bit of wood. Just make 200 for now on our own. I know you need electric poles, I know. We could just stop using those actually. Might even be an easier solution. Come to think of it. These robots are so slow. What's holding us up on science? Lack of red, which is a lack of iron. Just due to the priority system that we have with this, this uh, spaghetti factory. Gears and all this stuff. I mean, pretty much all of this iron is getting there, but... And I feel like the, the ratio is still correct. We've got 5 to 6 to 12 to 1. So... What's up with you, huh? Looks like it's just changed, because now there's plenty of gears on here. Extend the robot network again. Oh, I'd love to be able to fit one of these in here somewhere. Well, that's certainly going to cost a lot of power. We still have a strip right in the center that's not part of the actual logistics network, but that's all right. Okay, like I said, trains. We're gonna do trains. Let's grab some, uh, let's, let's unpause this. Let's grab some landfill. Only 283, oh my gosh. It's so small, such a small amount. I suppose we're going to do, like, a train station down here, would be the goal. Well, that's, that's interesting. I'm going to have to get used to that. Um, let's just put our train down. Build a diesel locomotive. Oh, they look so cool now. Now the real question is, how big are they? Uh, why is my grid not showing when I have the F4? Okay, we need to go to... Uh, this? No. F1, 2, F3, F4, F4. Okay, so on the... Detailed. I need robot speed. Too slow. I want to see Shotal Grid on... That, I think. Nope. There it is. Okay, so now we can see the tile grid when we're in here. Let's create a, uh, a train station, train stop. Train stop needs iron. I have no iron. Oh, that's so cool. I like that a lot. Wow. It looks really neat. Okay, so. Trains with this stop. There are no trains. Rename stop. Okay, this is going to be, um... Depot. Just Depot. And so they've redone this whole thing too. 
And oh, wow, look, what's up with this? You can actually see... Warning, a train's locomotive has no fuel left. Apparently autofill didn't work. Okay, robot speed actually went pretty quick, that's good. Cargo, um, I have no fuel on me, I have, I have wood. Use some wood. Okay, so we want you to wait until, so add station depot. Add wait condition. Okay, this is interesting. Uh, inventory empty. So go to depot, wait until empty cargo inventory. I like it. And or change compare to or. Add another wait condition or or uh, sure, 30 seconds have passed. That's probably unnecessary, but let's give that a try. So let's uh, tell you to run the train station, and then they open up. That's so cool. I like it. So the stations look different. Everything about it looks cool and awesome. And let's try building out this track. If I wanted to make it bend, yeah, it's going to make it take the full size, which is to be expected. Um, how about we do this? Let's just uh, strip some of this area here. We can move this somewhere else. So it's still using, it's actually still using like the smaller, like the curved rail. It's just, it doesn't require you to build it. Okay. Now, I still think we want to use Farl. But, for now, uh, let's just build it by hand, just so we can get our, our bearings straight on how it all works. So we don't want to use stack filter inserters, we want to use stack inserters, I think. Now the question is, how many of these do we actually need? And I don't know. I really don't know. Um, we'll do a regular inserter here, with a requester chest. Oh, look at that, we're right outside the network, that's unfortunate. Um, well, we're going to want another roboport down here anyway. I think. You will request... Oh, you're... I keep doing that. I keep doing active providers instead of requesters. I don't know why I'm getting mixed up in my head. You will request uh, all three types of fuel. Coal, wood, and solid fuel. And we'll just fill them up with whatever kind of fuel we can get our hands on. And then we'll use stack inserters. And this is where I want to see, like... I wonder if we even need to use the 8x train mod, you know? They appear... ...to line up almost perfectly, is that... Does that look about right? Like, you can fit four? Four per side, guaranteed, and then maybe it's six that it can fit right now. I, I mean, in the previous version, version of Factorio, I played with a mod that made the trains exactly eight, eight tiles wide because that was just very convenient. But this might be more than sufficient, actually. that for now. Should all be in construction area. I'm complaining about lacking that. It's kind of annoying. Fortunately, the robots are starting to get a little bit quicker. Okay, so then how, what's the best way, do you think, to merge four lanes? Is it going to be to just collide these two?
Or do we want to use a splitter? Because I've already determined, I think, that the splitter merge is actually slower. It's not as good. So yeah, I think we go, like, something like this. And obviously we're gonna have to speed things up once we make that happen. In fact, we might even want all of these belts to be faster. Like, from here on in. Something like that, maybe, could work. This is our iron ore. And even though it's kind of messy, I know. Just gonna make it a spaghetti factory for now. Hey, squad 32, we've actually launched a, a squad again. I need iron. God, I'm so low on iron. And I killed a lot of my power, so... That wasn't good. And we're still not using any accumulators, which is also kind of dumb. So we should probably get those going. Uh, let's make a basic accumulator setup. I want to request... Can you just build one? Can, you just, can I just have one, please? Those were being made right here. We're gonna make these... Yeah, right here works, actually. some of those out there. Okay, still completely out of iron, have no gear wheels. For some reason you're bringing me ammo. I mean, I guess that's useful. Really kind of need some gears. Am I not even- oh, that's probably the problem, not requesting gears. Uh, yeah, I want like 200 gears on me, please, at all times. Thank you. Did I ever make that one chest out there into a active passive provider? I don't remember. Let's go make sure that all of these are. Passive providers, and they should be part of the network. Yes, they are. Like you, passive provider, you, passive provider. Passive provider. That one already is. These ones already are. Okay, I hopefully have enough iron that I can actually get this done now. Gosh, that's so easy. Did you see how easy that was just now? Holy crap! Okay, and then we're gonna run this only as a red belt, but we're gonna run this over this way. We'll use uh, underground belt this because like this it's cheaper. You can hop that far. Get this thing all the way over to there. A little bit of a conundrum here. Still a bit of a conundrum. Um. You're not bringing me any iron. I mean nuts.
wrong. It's cheaper to go this way. But here, we will do it. All the way under. And then, let's have you go like this. Go under to there. And then have this guy go like this and like that. Okay, so iron from the train station has priority. It's hideous and you're gonna love it. I don't want to hear any complaints. And now we need to just make this work by going and hooking it up to the actual train. Okay, um, here's where Farl would actually be really handy. Why don't we just make one? Like one more cargo wagon, please. Like some more lights, too. Awfully dark. Every time I hop into these machines and they turn the lights off on me, it makes me concerned. Let's make Farl four long just, just so that it's equivalent. I hope that Farl also accelerates at the same rate. Okay, um. For now, we will throw our stuff into there. We need signals. We need big electric poles. There's a lot of things that we need to have if we want to use Farl. Uh, this should get turned into an active provider. Acid provider, rather. Let's upgrade the amount that we create. Is it within the network? Yes, it is. Good. Okay, um, signals, electric, iron and electric, we could make that over here. Rail signals. Only need to make a few of those, but let's make some of those. Um, big electric poles are steel and copper. There is copper down there. Steel and copper here. But uh, it's kind of kind of messed up. We're really low on iron right now. I gotta go pick up some more iron. Um, steel and copper is right here. Okay. Okay, that's that one done. What else does Farl need? I'll give him some signals, I'll give him some some big electric poles. <laughs> Farl's gonna kinda need his own depot. But for now, let's just grab the rest of the uh why are these still in my inventory? That should totally be auto-trashed. Grab the signals, let's grab all of the rail. And let's see if I can remember how the hell to use Farl. I don't know if I can. Alright, place poles, place signals, bulldozer, maintenance, bridge water, cruise, setup. Okay, place signals, place poles. Uh, we want to create a couple blueprints. Okay, create blueprints for vertical. Need to put them in the toolbar. Vertical and diagonal. Looks good. The only thing about it that I'd like to do is add lights, because I like lights. So let's place this blueprint. 
Okay, and the way that it's set up is actually like vertical and the chain signals in the bottom left. Like this. Right, that's what that looks like. Let's just add... Mm, two lights to it. Clear it. Create it. Save it. Delete it. Okay, so that can go back down into our... Down here. And this one, when I look at it, the chain signals in the top left go there. And we will add our light to here and here. We'll clear it. Copy it. Save it. Delete it. Let's get rid of these robots. Let's put this blueprint down here. Okay, um, settings. So we've got our blueprints. Blueprints read. Say blueprint for straight with big electric pole. Settings. Distance between rails. Um, I think we want to go longer. I think wire distance on big poles is like 30. I'm not mistaken. Wire reach is 30. So yeah, I think we want to try to do 30. I don't know if that's right though. 15, if they're doing, if it's doing two tile rail sections, then I don't know. Let's try 30 though. It makes more sense to me that it would measure it in, uh... Oh yeah, that's curious. Yeah, no. It's kind of not what I wanted you to do. You know, every time, every single time I use Farl, I gotta, like, relearn how to use it. Let's try this. Settings. Side of pole. Side of pole. Do we want to drive on the left or the right? We want to drive on the left, even though it makes no sense to me, personally. It's more appropriate for this game. Stop for now. Robots can't get out here, so they're not going to do anything. Unless we do this. Never mind, that actually connected them to the system. That did work. Okay. Okay, um, does it require us to use landfill? That's the real question. If we do, uh, bulldozer. What does bulldozer do? Bulldozing, oh, okay, that's where it de destroys it as you build it. Right, gotcha. Bridge water, yeah. Settings, okay. Just go straight. For now. Deactivated, not enough landfill. It does require landfill. Interesting. So they've updated Farl, and yeah, it does It does use the landfill mod to bridge water now. It's not just cheating anymore. Interesting. Okay. All right. Let's grab some landfill then. There'll be one more thing we need to request for the Farl... Special Farl uh, cargo train. Start again. Okay, that time we were able to bridge the water. Chopping down the trees. Let's make a slight right. Slight right. Up we go. Alright, let's see how that did with the... Electrical poles. Signals are quite far apart. Electrical poles are... So the signals are way farther apart than the electrical poles. And it didn't have any lights on it, so it didn't place any. Shoot. Hmm.
do we want to do this? All that really matters is that we just get the damn train network started. That's the, the most complicated part of the damn network, is that once you get it started, it's actually really easy to adjust and, and kind of work on. Let's make another turn. Another turn. The turn. Turn. That works for me, for now. And then let's grab the rail out of here and manually kind of bridge this guy in. So we drive on the left. Actually really convenient to do. So it would be nice if, uh, I don't know, it didn't quite lock as often as it does. It's unlikely that we need to go this direction, but, you know, it's like not, it's not quite, like, you gotta, you kinda gotta know where you wanna put it, is, is the problem. And then you gotta clear it again with the Q key. So if you wanted to go this way, you'd be like here, I think? No. Would it? No. All right, you're driving on the left. What if you did want to go left? You can't from there. I need some practice with this thing. It just looks wrong. What on earth have I done? All right, I'm gonna mess with this, this intersection <laughs> in between episodes while I figure out this new rail placement system that they've added, and uh, we'll go from there. But for now, I'll see you again in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.